I live in a house that was built in 1941, and it's a very small little cottage, and it has no insulation. Uh, the ceiling, the roof, doesn't even have an opening for someone to blow in insulation or get up there and spread out insulation. There's no opening. It's totally closed up. So it's 1941 now, cottage, no insulation. Kind of insulation. I'm quite sure by now it, it serves no purpose. Very pretty house, though. Because it's, it's packed. It's bound to be packed way down by now. So and the lady, I, the, the, the woman, li loves living there. I have a lot of things I have to do to be able to stand living in here when it gets way below freezing for days and days. So I will show you a few of the things that I do. She's made this video. Recommendations of what you do that I might not have thought of or might not have that I can check into. Hoping for ideas. Have heat and air in this place. There's not even. There's no air ducts up here, no nothing up here at all. I'm going to put her li the link to her channel in the description. Um, so please go I and subscribe to her. Our space heaters. Very nice lady. Right here that a wonderful uh, subscriber sent to me. And boy, did I use the heck out of that. And I hope to use it every year. It's absolutely wonderful. It puts out a lot of heat. It's, it's great. I also have one here in the kitchen that Brian bought for me. <laughs> Mrs. Key loves it. Mrs. Key, hello. And here, now this one is, for some reason, the flame part that shows the flames. You know that that went out, but the heat is still great. Mm -hmm. And I've got Miss Key's self-warming pad down here in front of the heater, and she lays down here quite often. I bet she, she likes loves it. A lot. So I have one here in the kitchen now. Also, bear in mind, I don't have um, a lot of electrical outlets in this house and a lot of breakers to handle electrical outlets. And so the first couple of years I lived in here... It's very homely. I like constantly. it. We learn when we live in old houses that we might not can turn on a toaster and a coffee pot on the same side of the house <laughs> because one of them is going to kick a breaker. Blow. That's exactly what... <laughs> having a heater in there did, but I learned not to use the coffee pot when I have the heater going, or just unplug the heater when I need a cup of coffee. So there's one in the kitchen, there's one in here. I also have this fireplace that we bought, Bobby well, you and know, I bought a long time ago when we had the uh, Rose Cottage shop. Very and nice. And that thing puts out quite a bit of heat too, and it's quite pretty to look at. I like it a lot. Um, and then, I have all my blankets, my warming blankets. Uh, one of them, this one, I, one of them, I, I think it was this one that a, a subscriber sent me. And as you can see, it's got all the, it's, it uh, heats up nicely. And recently, Brian bought me this double-sided full-body massage mat. Now, because I have a lot of problems with my back, and so does he. And not so he found these back and he problems. bought one for him and one for me. And it's got a uh, vibration and heat. And look, y'all, it's a long one too. So I'm going to put that in my recliner. Um, and I have a plug down on the floor down there. I'd have to unplug something else, but I'll plug this in. Because it it's great for my back and it's also nice and warm when it starts getting really cold. Now all of my windows... Let's see. All of my windows, I put some kind of plastic barrier on them. In the bedroom, I have done that. You could I've done all the windows in the bedroom with plastic on them. And then I've done this one right here. Earn pounds, not points, before Christmas. Download Astro Awards today and you can start earning on your next shop. I won't. I won't stop around birds. Under the door because this is not straight at all. This door is not straight. And the threshold is uh, it's not very good. And so there's a lot of gas. Drafty. Well, that's the old timey way. Just put a towel up under it. And y'all, it works for me. Works just fine. I don't have a heater in here in the bedroom. Let me show you some of my pictures. If you can see them at all. Look, there's Daisy with Santa. Mm. That was her first Christmas. Uh -oh. That would be 16 years ago. 
with my daughter at her wedding. Beautiful. There's my daughter. She made a beautiful bride, that's for sure. Okay, so I do not have um, a heater in here, but I can always bring one of those other, they're lightweight, easy to carry, they're not heavy at all, bring one in here, but I'll have to run an extension cord in here uh, to get it to work. I still hadn't painted my wall, y'all, and it's been almost five, almost five years that I hadn't painted this side of the wall. <laughs> You'd think I'd get around to doing it, wouldn't you? But I haven't. So I will. Oh, I'm going to show you this old table. I'll show, show you a few things I haven't shown you. I bought this set of garage there for $15, and I bought it about shoot, 15 years ago or something. And it was in terrible shape, and it wouldn't sell because the back leg was crooked. It didn't bother me at all. So I used wallpaper and covered, covered it in wallpaper. And this is wallpaper as well. And this was a Christmas decoration. Pretty. And I wired that on that drawer as a handle. And then I kind of faux painted the top to look a little bit like a, a rose colored marble that was done with paint. And I have, I don't have a place to put it, but I had it in the store and I couldn't stand it being over there. So I, I bought it over here. I'm getting sidetracked showing y'all stuff. I wanted to show you winter stuff. So. Could put some pictures on that anyway, table. It'd be nice. My, the clients have lots of blankets for me, for the dogs. Uh, another thing. Wear sweatpants. I bought this from Amazon not very long ago in anticipation of needing it. It is way too big for me, but it's fleece lined and it's very, very warm and very comfortable. So I like it a lot. It's all that matters. It's for me. I haven't seen my house in a while. I don't change it up much anymore because it's just so much trouble. Oh, there I am in the mirror. How about that? Y'all have seen that scene many times. Our queen sits there. So that's what I do. Oh, and I also, not just, uh, you know, electric blankets and and sweatpants <laughs> drink a lot of hot tea. It's a good time <laughs> so do I. Tea that I made recently. Good time to use that up, isn't it? So, anyway, that's what I do. There is no insulation in this house. I do the best I can to keep it keep it warm, and it's a struggle because there are places that it is not warm, and it's not going to be warm. And I think my laundry room, I'm going to pull that curtain shut when it gets really, really cold. Miss Key's um, litter box is in there. And so I keep it, I keep the curtain pulled open a little bit, but I can close that up. Y'all, they used to do that many years ago in those old houses. Instead of, they, they did, doors yes. To close off, say, dining rooms when they weren't used or, or uh, living rooms or whatever. And they used doors. A lot of them had pocket doors and, you know, just regular doors. But um, in, they didn't have that. What they did was they put drapes, heavy drapes up over the doors. And then they would just pull the drapes back. And on the uh, front doors, to the front door, they used to. Uh, entry and close it up in the winter. And it worked well. It, it did a good job. It sure did. There's my ice machine. I love that ice machine. I can hear your clock ticking. And mine. I can hear mine. There well. you go. That's what I do to stay warm in the winter. I bundle up. I wear heavy socks, and thick house shoes, and thick robes, and thick blankets, and I've got my heaters going. And I, I'm, I'm not just perfectly warm. No, not at all. But, uh, but I wear adequate, adequate clothes, and I have uh, plenty of things to cover up in. So, y'all, I don't know what you do to stay warm. Let me know. If you don't have insulation in your house and you don't have central heat and air, let me know how you heat your home and how you, uh, whatever tips you've got 
for the senior citizens to stay warm. Yeah, pop in, across um, to a channel. In adequate heated homes. Okay, thanks for joining me today. I hope you join this, uh, enjoyed the little tour. We did. And um, y'all have a great day. I hope God is good to you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. See up to 88% off.